And welcome back to yet another episode of the Full Send RTG. And now in this one, as you can tell by the title, we do have some 81 plus player picks. But first, we are going to be starting off by completing another one of the swap token SPCs for foot birthday swaps. I'm thinking about completing Insali. Not completely sure. Don't know really what I'm going to do yet, but that is an option. But as you can see here, we have to send the swaps token to the club. We do have 12 the 81 plus player picks. Could have more. Um, in future episodes or later on in this video. Don't quite know yet. We just have 12 to see if we can get some fodder and maybe get lucky and go ahead and get ourselves a foot birthday. So here we go. First A1 plus player pick. What's it going to be? Is it going to be good fodder? Andre Silva. Okay. Let's see how good these can be. Let's see. A little test. Mm, that's a poor one. Saul. Don't really want to be seeing that. Last week we did about 30 and we didn't get a foot birthday. If we could somehow get lucky there, Edison Cavani is pretty good. If we could somehow get lucky, that would be very good. That's very, very poor. Pellegrini. Next one is going to be, what do we say? Wow. I mean, I don't know about, mm, I mean, no walkout yet. An 85 and an 84. Ugh, these are poor. These have been very, very bad. Obviously, one car can change it, but... This is not looking too good for the amount of rares you put into it so far. Jesus Navas, okay, that's okay. That's okay. Another one, boom. Visca. Yeah, I mean, three more. Jean Felix. I don't know about this, to be honest. I don't know about this. A uh, Duke Zapata, who we're probably just going to discard. And then the final player pick is going to be. What are we saying? Wow. Those were very bad. Why, why did you not make a one of three? I mean, it, it's midway, we're midway through March. I feel like these should be one of three already. Personal opinion, not one of two. But yeah, we'll send those to the club. Go ahead and open those two packs that we have in the store real quick. Go ahead and see if we can get lucky out of those somehow. Don't know how we would because it is just a gold pack and a, a, a premium mix, I think it is. It is a premium mix. So, yeah, if we see something good out of this, that's just unreal. Um, there's the gold pack. Yep, obviously a non-rare. If we got a rare, honestly, that would have been a dub because that means an extra rare gold for a player pick. So, that's a plus. All right, now on to the premium mix players pack. Let's see if that's half decent at all. Again. Doubt it will, but you never know. Boom. What are we saying? It's a silver. So silver rare. We didn't get a gold rare in it. Alright, moving on from that. Don't know what's gonna be next in this video, but I'll see you with whatever it is. Alright, guys, so today EA have went ahead and given us an 85 plus triple pack. So obviously yesterday, um, we had some player picks, all that kind of stuff. Even though it's giving the same video. Yesterday we opened the player picks and all that kind of stuff. Now we have an 85 plus triple. Now it's not repeatable at this current moment. But it's out for 24 hours. And then it'll be repeatable again. So tomorrow we will have another 85 plus pack. Um, which will be in probably the next video. Because this video that, re that we're recording currently has to be out on Wednesday morning. Um, so you won't see the second 85 plus in, that, in this video. You'll probably see it in the next video. And by the way, we are going to be completing Charisma. Because, I mean, he's just a really good value for 5 star, 5 star, super sub. Just very, very good value. Now, this Oriaza ball is getting so much hate. Right? So much hate. Yes, he has 3 star, three -star skill moves, right? Yeah, yes, he has 3 star skill moves. If you're not a skiller, he's amazing. I'm a skiller and I'm still completing him. Wanna why? Look at those stats. 94 pace, 89 shooting, 88 passing, 93 dribbling. Five star weak foot. He he can finish. He can finish. And the price. An 83, 84, and 85 for a 92 rated SBC card with those stats. People see that three star skill moves and just go away from it immediately. When he has a five-star weak foot, great shot power, great finishing, fantastic dribbling, fantastic stamina, fantastic pace, and he's very, very reasonable in terms of price. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. I, I really do feel like it's a pretty good value SBC, um, but yeah, let me know if you purely don't want to do it because of that weak foot.
But here we go. Our 85 plus times three pack. Boom. Can we see a foot birthday and get lucky from it? Obviously, if you see a foot birthday, you want to see all the flares. We do. Not all the flares. You know what? Wolford and Dini, though. We do get a foot birthday. I can't complain about that, can I? Open the rest of the pack. What else are we going to see in it? Anything else? Boom. That is a very good 85 times 3. And Didi, Harry Kane, and Castiles. So we get three walkouts from it. That is very, very, very good. I will take that. That is a very good pack. We put one walkout into it and got three back. Yes, 285s, but so 285s and 186 into the pack, and we get an 88, 86, and a 90 back. And one of them's a foot birthday. Five star, four star, medium, high end DB. It looks very, very good. That is nice. That is a very, very nice pack. Oh, well, I'll see you in the next part of this video, which will probably be me completing Charisma and probably, I don't know, maybe Ariaza Ball. Yes, guys, so we are back with the first SBC that we will be completing today, and it is five star, five star Ricardo Charisma. This car looks very good, and he is very, very cheap. I think for the price, an 84 and 82 rated squad. If you have not completed this card yet, go ahead and do it. He'll be a fantastic super sub for you. And in the future, later down the game, will be pretty good fodder for you as well. I mean, just look at this card. I mean, look at the stats as well. On the face of him, he looks unreal already. Very, very, very good. Then we look at those in-games, and that's where it gets even more spicy. Boom. Let's take a look at that. So, 5-star, five 5-star, five high-low, like, uh, 2. High-low. That's crucial right there. P pace is fantastic. Shooting is very good. Short passing, long passing, vision, crossing, curve. The most important things you need, he has. Freaky accuracy brings the passing down a bit. Doesn't really, obviously it doesn't really matter. 94 agility, 92 balance, 88 reactions, 89 composure, 92, I mean, just look at it. 87 stamina. He's worth it. Go ahead and complete that card. He's definitely worth it. And now, this is one that's getting a lot of controversy, but I'm going ahead and completing him because I think he's very good value. And it's Miguel Ariazabal. Now, obviously, three-star weak foot, or three-star skill moves, right? Three-star skill moves. That's what puts people off immediately with this card. Now, if you don't use skill moves, this card is for you 100%. Now, I am a skiller, right? I... I love skill goals. My whole team is like four star and above. Like everyone in attack. Puskas is the lowest with four star in my attack. So why am I bringing Oryazabal in? Well, why am I doing that? Well, it's because of that five star weak foot. Now, Puskas is absolutely amazing. He might stay in the squad. It's between him, it's between him and Janola. Now, Janola is obviously still fantastic in this game. Absolutely phenomenal card, extremely meta, 5 star, 5 star, unreal. What I have seen recently though, is that balance on Janola has, it's really starting to play a role. Like, as the game progresses, you really see that balance with Janola, and it affects his agility, because when he turn, it's just, it's not as quick as what I want in the stage of the game. Now, for the price, I feel like this card is an absolute steal. 94 pace, shooting is phenomenal, passing is 90 short passing, 92 vision, 89 crossing. Now, curve's a bit low. I will admit that. Curve is a bit low. Dribbling. I mean, look at the dribbling stats. Nothing wrong there. 96 stamina, and he has the finesse shot trait. That is, that is great. Three-star skill moves. I am a skiller, right? So th that will affect it. But the fact that I can switch him on both feet, he's high medium as well. High medium as well. The fact that I can switch on both feet, finesse, do all that kind of stuff with this card is ideal. Is very, very, very ideal. The fact that he has the five star weak foot, honestly, I feel like in elite division especially and all that kind of stuff, I feel like weak foot. Now I'm gonna sound absolutely insane for saying this, but I feel Having a weak foot is more important, especially in the boxes. I think I'm going to be playing him striker. I think I'm going to be playing this card striker. And having that weak foot to just cut quickly, shoot immediately, and score, rather than doing a bunch of skill moves, it's more effective. Now, I do both, but I also like to have a card 
that I can just quickly turn and shoot and also have a card that I can do skill skills as well. I kind of like to have one, both, in the 4-1-2-1-2. That's why we brought Ayarzabal in. I don't think he's bad, especially for an average player. He's phenomenal. He's phenomenal. Now, I am, I, I class, I guess I classify myself as an above average. I'll go 11 and 0 in champ sometimes, like when I'm feeling it. Um, I'm in elite division. So obviously I'm a solid player, but a lot of people can get to elite division. So yeah, d just let me know what you think about your ball card. I think it's a pretty solid SBC in terms of value. If they would have slapped the four star skill moves on them, then we're talking unreal. But then there is the likes of like Brian Hill, who you can buy and he's like cheaper and has that. I'm pretty sure it's five star, four star, could be wrong, four star, four star, something like that. So there's like another option if you don't have that. But we will be completing Thibaut Courtois, player of the month in this video as well. And with five swap tokens, I have completed the ultimate, ultimate pack. So we have that. We have a jumbo gold pack, a few gold packs. A few of these are from UEFA marquee matchups, which are tradable. The mini 50k pack, um, I think a prime mixed, I'm pretty sure as well. I think we have, um, not completely sure yet. Jared Bowen in that pack, um, Rudy and a Dijon, um, Dion badge. So let's see, um, that's from UEFA marquee matchups. I think this isn't, this is not. I don't know what this, this is probably from a, one of the SBCs we just completed. Yeah, is it, it well, I think they're all tradable beside the 125k pack. They're all tradable beside that 125k pack, I'm pretty sure. Bundesliga Silver, that's not too bad. Zinchenko and Pat Lopez as well. All right, so let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, Premium Mixed Players pack. I think, is this the one from the 79 rated squad for UEFA? I don't know, it doesn't matter because it's a silver rare. So that's a bit unfortunate. Ahem. Let's see. What are we gonna expect to see here? Troy Dini. Oh, Soul Bomba. Beat Cancer. Goat. Absolute goat. <laughs> oh, with Soul Bomba as well. Did you guys see the um did you guys see the uh the image when Middlesbrough knocked out who, who did, was it? who did they knock out? Was it United? I can't remember. I know it was one of those teams. Can't remember off the top of my head. But he was just standing there and said, I'm too old for this. Very, very good photo. Um, let's see. So, Rare Electrum. I'll do Rare Electrum first. Then the Mini 50k pack. Then the 125k pack. Boom. Oi. It's not Spanish left back. You know what? Yuri Barashishe. I think he is tradable. So, we'll probably go on and sell him. Um, if he's untradable, then that's solid. But I pretty certain he's tradable he is that's that's solid you know a tradable yuri barashishe and kai Havertz. a few rare golds in there as well nice if we saw 88 plus there oh we are buzzing mini 50k pack which is tradable as well boom back to back foot birthdays no not even a board out of a mini 50k hmm interesting we always see boards out of 50k mini 50ks um, Muriel, Forsberg, Osim Hen, and Matthias Cunha. And then we have the 125k pack, which obviously is untradeable. So if we see a foot birthday here, that's absolutely brilliant for us. Boom, 125k pack. What are we saying, yeah? What are we saying? What are we saying? It is a walkout. It's Sadio Mane, 88 plus, you know. Very good fodder. Very, very, very good fodder. Now, what are we saying for the rest of the pack? Anything else in it by chance? You know what? Two informs Sadio Mane, Kieran Trippier. Very solid. Very solid. I will take that. Those two informs help out massively as well. Um, Zinchenko, let's see if we have any tradable players in here. And then once we check this out, I will go ahead and complete Thibaut Courtois, player of the month. And I'll be right back when we have him completed. All right, guys, and to end off this video, welcome another La Liga player today, along with Mika Oyatabal, is Thibaut Courtois, player of the month, 91 rated keeper. Great to have another keeper in the squad. Now, Torreira, we have his loan, and we're probably not going to use him more than five games, so I'm happy giving away this one and just keeping his loan because 
for promo squads, he'll be good. I can't see us using him more than the five games we have him on loan. So that's not a problem whatsoever. We'll go ahead and submit that squad and have Thibaut Courtois walk out for us. It's good because we have Lafont and we have De Gea. Now we have Tibor Courtois, and obviously I'm starting collecting again for like one league teams, and we don't have a La Liga keeper yet. So Tibor Courtois will go ahead and fit right into that spot. And from what I've heard, he is very, very good. And I think the reason, I'm pretty sure he has to save with feet tray, right? Oh, he doesn't. Why did I think he did? Why did I think he did? Don't know why I did, but yeah. From what I've heard, he is a very, very, very solid keeper. Another player on the keeper, along with De Gea, we have in the club now. We'll send him to the club. And yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this one. Um, let me know what you got in your, what's it called? Um, what did we get? Oh, what, what was, oh, let me know what you got in your 80, um, 81 plus player picks, if you did any. Um, what you got in your 85 triple pack. Um, we'll have another one in tomorrow's video as well. Um, and yet, yeah, let me know your opinions on that Oryathabov, because I don't think he's as bad as people are putting it out. The three-star skill moves put so many people off with that card. Yeah, just let me know. And this is, again, this is coming from a decent player. I, I'm not I'm not trying to sound like arrogant anyway, either. I think myself as a solid FIFA player. I'm not saying I'm insane, not saying I'm bad. I think I'm solid. Let's put that out there. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this one, make sure to leave a like, comment, all that kind of good stuff. And what, what what just happened? I like stopped. Make sure you leave a like, comment, all that kind of good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next one tomorrow. I don't know what just happened to me there.